Hello guys, it's your boy A to the A, African and Makshu. I'm so happy to be here today. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And uh, thank you all. I finally got my silver play button. And uh, secondly, happy new month to everybody. So, uh, hello guys, I'm back again. Um, it's been a while now, uh, I think a few weeks back, I've been hearing some news going around online now regarding Alobonaga, Lee Vlogs, and Ren Benny. Well, I'm not here to correct anybody, and I'm not here to insult anybody. And if you feel it's an insult, just open your fridge, get a water, drink it, and digest it, because truth is bitter. And uh, I am not here to side anybody. And I'm not here to judge anybody. The point is that uh, I have been hearing some things about uh, Lee Vlogs and uh, what's her name? Uh, Ren Benny regarding the MMA fight that happened of recent. Number one, from what I heard, they said it is scripted. But there's one thing you people should know. Despite the fact it is scripted, Put yourself in my shoes. If it were to be scripted, and then by mistaking you put your hand in my eyes in the match, what do you expect me to do? I should accept sorry. I will also dip my hand into your eyes to make the script balance. I don't know who bust each other first on the stage. Maybe Lee or Ren Benny because I wasn't there for the fight. I just went, I did my performance on that day, and then I left. Me and uh, Jamie my co-partner but later on i got to hear some awkward news is going around like uh, lee got angry giving a warning to ren benny while fighting don't kick my head don't do this don't do that it's a fight it's not a comedy fight that's number one and number two there are some things that is going around which are lies but i'm not here to correct anybody if it is true or lie i mean a jane uh, Lee said uh, her trainer is uh, Deepika, no, Priyanka Chopra. The, your, her trainer was the one that trained Priyanka Chopra for the movie Mary Come, Morompra. If it's a lie, cut that place off. Because if it were to be your trainer that trained Priyanka Chopra for that movie Mary Come, you should be a good fighter. At least, if not 100%, 60%. That is aside. And number two, fighting and giving warning to your fellow opponent is awkward because it's kind of a fight. Even if it is scripted, you have to bash yourself to as to make it real. That is number two. And whatever cut you get from your mouth on that day, we are really sorry for that. And you are the one saying that uh, Ren Benny should have come up to you and talked to you like a matured lady. But from what Ren Benny said, you are the first to block her. So who are we to believe? That is a side. Let's forget about cats and cats. And now, Ren Benny has given a reply that most of you looking at the uh, video are more or less like a murugi. Just look at how the insult is bouncing back to you all. So why are you all people arguing on the fight? The deed has been done. Let's forge ahead. The fight has been done. The MMA has been done. Everything is finished. So everybody have peace and stay in your own colony. That is a side. So everybody is now pinpointing Amu Alobonaga. There's one thing I just want to say. I am not a Naga. Yes, I am a Nigerian, but I'm married to Sumi tribe, which at least qualifies me, if not 50%, 40% of Naga, Naga Manu. Listen very carefully. Amu Alobonaga, no matter how insult you people give to him, he is still who he is. Same thing as me. A lot of people call me Kala Doremon, Black Oreo, blah, blah, blah. You are black like this, charcoal. I don't care. I am still who I am. But there's one thing I just want to bring to the notice of you public looking and listening out there. Alobonaga is an icon here in Nagaland. And you people should have it at the back of your mind that Amu Alobonaga is one of the person that brought music. You understand what I'm saying? Music entertainment into Nagaland and made this known to the world out there and he has tried his possible best and he is still trying I respect him for that hats off and nobody should start like uh, blaming him for what he did or what he did not do he is the only one running running around for the show on that day he was so stressed out 
there is nobody helping him out even to pick my own call was hard because he is busy f trying to fix out things for other people to do but after the match people started saying he's a bad guy he's the devil person he's greedy he's selfish hey Biana Pabio nobody should get angry and if you feel you are angry or what I said hurt you see I'm still telling you just open your fringe drink water and digest it because there is nothing you can do the deed has been done Alo Bonaga you did well in the show because you are trying to bring new new things into Nagaland to tell you the fact when I was in Delhi nobody knows where they call Nagaland and now to God be the glory Amu Alobonaga has tried and he's trying his best to make the world out there know where Nagaland is he brought MMA fight and it has been done people have known about it and the fight has been done why is it only the female are the one talking about this shit this show the male they got a court they hit themselves blood came out the male is also scripted why are you all concerned about the female that's what I want to say again about this Nagaland of a thing. When we male come to perform in a club or in a bar, you people pay us lesser amount. But when it comes to female performing in another, the same club, you people will pay them higher amount. Why? Because they are my key. Giving respect to women. I'm not saying you should not give respect to women, but let everything be equal and balanced. Remember in the Bible, God created Adam before Eve, not Eve before Adam. So you people should use your senses sometimes. And number two, Amu Alobo, you have done a great job. Whatever anybody wants to say, let them say, okay? Dogs will definitely bark. The jungle still owns to the king of the jungle, which is the lion. So that is it. People will say negative things about you. Amu Alobo, you are greedy. You are selfish. You are wicked. You are using other people to promote yourself. Hey, listen, let me tell you guys. Eh, in this world, if you don't use your brain for yourself, people will help you to use it. That is the logic. Eh? So this life, eh, you must step on something before you get something. That is how it is. Eh? God will cause somebody to bless somebody. So that is how it is. So he did not step on anybody because he got everybody paid at the end of the show. So nobody should now start saying this person did this, this person did that. Whatever that happens has happened. So let us leave the matter for Matthias to judge it. So nobody should start pinpointing Amu Alobo or saying Lee is bad, Renbeni is bad, Alobo Naga is bad. Nobody is bad because this ha was told to everybody before they start the program. So now the program went well, we thank God. Now the program has ended. Then now problems started escalating and they start pinpointing people, which is not supposed to be so. This is the first thing I hate. Amu Alobo has tried his possible best. He brought uh, MMA one. He has sang outside of Nagaland and brought glory to Nagaland two. Number three, he brought a guy K-pop, right? Yeah. People have started pointing again that after the MMA fight, eh, we don't know where Amu Alobo Naga went and brought a K-pop artist which is not known to perform in Nagaland. Please. Can we use this our medulla oblongata? If you don't know the meaning of medulla oblongata, it means brain. Okay? Did they come to your house to force you to come and watch the show? Number one. Nobody came to your door to knock. Hello, sir, please, you must buy a ticket to come and watch K-pop. Okay? He did his best to bring them here. And it is left to you to come. If you don't want to come, stay in your house and watch Nagaland News TV. Nobody's forcing you. He is doing his own best to get gain for himself and also to bring fame to Nagaland. Because I'm telling you the fact, when I was in Delhi, Mumbai, nobody know where is Nagaland. I'm telling you the fact. I used to tell them, uh, my wife is from Nagaland. They say, Nagaland, Kote, where, where? Gowati, Assam, that is just the end. So he's trying his best to explore Nagaland and show Nagaland to the whole world. But still, people are pointing hand on him. Whatever he did, he did his own best. And if you think what he did is bad, why don't you try what he did and let's see what you can do? Okay? That is what matters. Everybody is saying, he too biya, alobonaga biya mano. He is greedy, he is selfish. You that is saying that word, can you please listen to yourself and take a deep look at yourself? Are you living a good life? 
are you am i sh what should i say are you also not greedy haven't you been greedy in your life haven't you been selfish in your life once but somebody just did it only once you people started pointing hand but remember my dad told me you that is pointing one finger on somebody else the remaining four is pointing back at you so don't judge the book by the cover or don't judge the cover by the book in short don't judge you understand what i'm saying so nobody should start pointing hands on somebody he did this he did that he did hey i'm alobo you did well 110 percent if they don't like you hmm, let them sit in their house and for those who fight at the mma you guys did well god bless you all for those who got bashed up got blood stains or whatever uh it is what it is so you guys can be friends back later it's just to put up a show okay so that the world will also know that there is a place called nagaland okay k-pop came they did not force anybody to go and look but people went all thanks to god his show went well hello bonaga you did well so if nobody likes you i want to tell you something more this world we are nobody eh, can love you more than your god as far as your mother says go ahead your father says go ahead and the god that created you said my son go ahead whatever anybody says behind that is zero i don't care just don't care because you did what you did to bring pride to nagaland but to the other way around jealousy people because see i'm telling you people the fact to be an apabi and anybody that wants to still get angry open your fridge and drink water and swallow it i'm telling you guys the fact because see i have been in nagaland for the past three and a half years let's say three years and five months or six months now i know there is christianity here but at the same time there is jealousy here also since when i became a youtuber a thousands of people have become a youtuber because why ah he took him and say Kote Praia, he said, where did he come from? He came from nowhere and became a YouTuber. Why can't we also become a YouTuber? Because every house now has a YouTuber now. Out of jealousy and greediness. So for them, for people out there pointing hands on Amua Lobonaga, I count it as jealousy, jealousy, okay? Please remove greedy, envy, and jealous from you people's life. And then you people will succeed in life. Yes, because I'm telling you people the fact oh, before it is too late. Because sometimes I feel like the gods of Nagaland is angry with the Nagas himself. That's why you see things are turning upside down. So it's hard time for you people to accept what it is and move ahead. Because it doesn't make any sense you pointing hand on somebody else. See, this life is live and let live. Whatever I like, let me live my life on my own. Live your life on your own. Because at the end of the day, I have myself to answer to my God. You won't be there to answer for me. It is not possible. On that day, when I'll be answering to my own God, eh, you won't even know me at all. You won't even tell eh? I'm actually. I mean, like a subscriber said to oh, it's not possible. YouTube will be cancelled then. You won't even know me as African I'm actually that day. I'll be looking at you like a zombie, and you'll be looking at me like a clown because we won't know each other. So live your life. And let others live their life and don't judge anybody okay if you want to look you look if you don't want to look charibi nobody's forcing you to look at another people's channel because I see some people here they are very jealousy they are envy greedy can you people wake up we are in 21st century this is not the olden days where people have to think ulta palta we are in the 21st century can we wake up for Christ's sake let us be civilized see i am not here to say anything to anybody eh? i am not angry with anybody i am not pinpointing anybody i'm just saying how it is for me because i have watched all the old video i have watched leave vlogs video i have watched and benny video so now you people have made them to now make a, 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 a video for you people to watch now and benny have given reply and now indirectly insulted most of you to watch it that you people are murugi one leave vlogs have uploaded a video telling ren benny why did you make a diss on me at the same time biana pabio leave vlogs is also looking for subscriber 
the day she uploaded the video she completed one lakh congratulations so everybody has to do something to grow his or her own channel and content so get that so nobody should start coming and be saying hey Ren Benny Bia Live Lot is Bia Alobonaga is Bia nobody is perfect even you listening to me and you people judging others everybody is Bia everybody is Papi Manu okay I want you to know that Sab Manu in this world, as long as you are breathing and you have blood running through your veins, everybody is first class Papi Manu. All we just need is God's grace, okay, to see the gate of heaven. Nobody in this world will come and tell me, hey, I'm a candidate of heaven. No, how about? Even the Pope, I'm a Catholic, I'm telling you the fact. Even the Pope cannot come and tell me tomorrow when I die, I'm going to heaven. Even the greatest pastor here in Nagaland, I'm telling you the fact. Oh, he can't tell me tomorrow when I die, I'm going to heaven. I don't believe. All I just believe is in his prayer. And listen, his prayer will work on me if I have faith. That is just it. Because some pastor will pray for you. If you don't have faith, the prayer can never work. So that's how it is. So nobody should come and tell me that I'm a candidate of heaven. Tell me where you applied for the visa. Let me also apply. So everybody here eh, is a candidate of his own. Let me tell you people clearly, nobody is going to heaven. Okay? We only need God's grace to go to heaven. And a lot of people are saying you are Hindu, you are Christian, you are Muslim, you are Buddhist, you are Sikh, you are this. Hello, everybody is one. I don't see Christianity, I don't see Muslim, I don't see Hindu, I don't see Sikh. All I see is humanity. Okay? Humanity matters most. Not I'm a Christian. No. What have you done for the Christianity uh, life? I'm a Muslim. Oh. What have you done? I'm a Sikh. Oh. What have you done? The most important thing is how many lives have you saved? How many people have you lifted up from the dust and lifted them on top? It is not just moving around and mukbia. I mean this, I mean manu, I mean this, I am this, I am that. How many have you helped? At the end of the day, that is what matters. Who have you helped? Not, uh, I went to this show. They know me. I am this, I am that. Uh -uh. That is zero. How many people have you helped? That is what matters. So please, Nizor Nizor, God, baby, everybody stay in your house and be happy. Whatever show that is being pulled up in Nagaland is for the upliftment of the youth and for our fathers and mothers at home to support us. And nobody should come on social media and start talking nonsense. Social media is social media. That doesn't warrant anybody to start talking A is a bad person, B is a bad person. Hey, thank you for the tea. Chai time. Mm. Wow, coffee. Ow. Oh, sorry. Stay with mom, okay? Daddy is talking a very serious matter. Uh, oh, you eat rum pom. Oh, go and wash your hand, eh? Daddy is on a serious topic, okay? So I'm sorry to sorry, ne? I'm sorry to cut you guys, ne? So uh, please, I don't want to talk much. Everybody is adult. Nobody is a baby again. Even my son is will be four years old on Christmas Day. He was born on 25th of December. He even knows the difference between left and right. More or less, you adults watching us at home, sitting down and criticizing us online. It is not easy, please. Let us try and use this, our brain, God has given to us. Please, I'm begging each and every one of you. Let us be civilized. Let us learn how to love one another and stop criticizing anybody. We are all trying our best. And there's one thing I want to say about the uh, music industry or not music industry. I respect each and every artist in the whole world, even in Nagaland here. Because it is not easy to write, to sing, and to stand in the midst of congregation and sing it out. It is not easy at all. But after writing the song, producing the song, some people will be at home and start talking nonsense. Hey, to Ghana, Iman Suka say, can you come out and stand in front of five people and talk? You can't. Do you know what it took us to write the song? You don't know. You just sit at home, Iku Kam Nai, just playing Karam, eating Shikar, smoking Biri, and playing ML and talking bullshit. Let's try and use this brain, please. It is time for us to be civilized. 2023 is running to an end. Everybody is this 
sinking into the damn shit of envy, greedy, selfish, no unity, um, uh, jealousy. When will you guys wake up for Christ's sake? Eh? Nagaland for Christ, Nagaland for Christ. Is this the Christ? Jealousy, Kote. Why are you all behaving like this sometimes? I know there are a lot of people that love me out there. But at the same time, it is balanced. A lot of people hate me out there. I know most people out there want to see me fall so as to post me on social media. But I tell you people, the God I serve is a living God. I will never fall and you people will not see me fall in Jesus' name. Please, pray for one another. It's in the Bible. Be your brother's keeper. Huh? Please. If you people are angry with what I said, it is what it is. So my father told me, truth is bitter. So, please, take it the way I said it now. And I am not here to judge anybody. I am not here to correct anybody as I've said it. So, please, I want us to listen to this video and think about it very well and then reflect reflect into it and then walk towards it and then i believe this is gonna change our life for the better so please nobody should cancel anybody nobody should judge anybody if you feel that somebody is not doing good call the person one-on-one -on -one. hello bro please i like you eh? don't do this again do this it is left for me to take the advice and if I don't take the advice, you have done your own best. Just leave me and let me do my own. Okay? Don't start spreading and talking nasty, nasty things on social media. Blah, 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 blah. Chapri. This person is greedy. This person is uh, selfish. This person is this. No. Nobody is selfish, please. In this life, if you don't use your brain, people are there to use it for you. Okay? So... Um, I wish you people all a good life. As 2023 is running to an end, we are in November right now. As 2023 is running to an end, let us try and reflect and reconcile our life before 2024 come. A lot of people have died. Now, we don't know what tomorrow will say because tomorrow is pregnant. We don't know what tomorrow will give birth to. I might die tomorrow. You watching me might die tomorrow. We don't know. All we just pray for God is God to give us long life and prosperity to see this world. So please, um, I don't have much to say because my father told me a word is enough for the wise. So if you want, listen. If you want, don't listen. Use your tongue and count your teeth. That is what makes a man. So you guys have a good day and God bless you all. And respect to Lee Vlogs, respect to Renbeni, respect to Alobonaga also, and respect to each and every of my subscribers and viewers out there. So I'm not pinpointing or making this video to one person, but I'm talking to everybody, including me too. So if you feel that uh, what I said is wrong, let it be. Excuse me. And if you feel what I said is right, let it be. So guys, uh, have a good day and God bless you all and stay safe. As winter is fast approaching, remember to go to Hong Kong market and pick your own jacket before the winter strikes us down. And um, please, nowadays the dust is escalating. Make sure you wear your mask, Morompra, before people start turning into Colombia virus, sorry, coronavirus. So please take care of yourself and uh, wherever you are traveling to, drive safe speed limits and uh, take good care of yourself take care of your family and i wish you all a happy christmas in advance new year in advance and uh, to the youths coming up in the streets i wish you all a brighter future and god bless each and every one of you all and for our parents out there wherever you guys are praying for our our future to be bright uh, we really appreciate it god bless you all you people will never walk in vain we are trying our possible best it is not easy because the world we are now is not the world of dogs but of wolves you know a lot of people are there to tear you down you know you might be thinking that uh, the people that is envying you are from outside but the people that are envying you are staying and sitting with you that's why in africa they say the ant that eats a vegetable lives beneath the vegetable so let's try and be conscious and uh, 
be mindful of what we say and do outside. And uh, God bless each and every one of us. And do have a good day. And uh, I want to tell you guys, uh, I'll be dropping one of my songs, I think, uh, this week or next week. The title of the song is uh, Victim of the Situation. It's a reggae song because I got to see that Naga people love guitar. So... The song, I got to reflect on the song, like, it's like Nagaland has been fighting for, uh, you know, what do they call this, unity for long, including we Nigerians too, Biafra, we are fighting for unity also. But how long are we going to fight this unity? People are dying, you know, people, our heroes have died in the name of this fighting for, you know, freedom. So, please, let us all join hands together and live in peace. Because my father said, one hand can never wash it clean. You have to wash with two hands to make it clean. Uh, so please, Santam, Sema, Ao, Lota, Konyak, Yamchungar, whichever tribe, Kuki, whatever tribe, let us come together as one and live in peace. And please, I want to employ all the pastors around the whole world, including you that is not pastor watching me. Let us always pray for Palestine and uh, Gaza and uh, Israel, uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia, and uh, everywhere there is war, everywhere, everywhere is war, it's a war, so everywhere is war, our, our rich ones, they don't have money to feed the poor, but they have money to buy ammunition to send people to go and fight, just look at how brainless they are, you see? The, 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 the people are starving in the streets. People are dying in the streets. Come nigh. No food, nothing, nothing. But they have the money to sponsor people to buy ammunition to go and fight for war. Just look at the kind of life we are living. And you people are telling me, people, all of us will go to heaven. No hubba. So please, let us pray for peace in the world. Because the world we are now is turning upside down. You people are waiting for rapture. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> very very funny very very funny mm. you people are very very funny so you people think my own god will come out in the sky and blow trumpet it is rapture time and then people that will go to heaven will disappear and start going to heaven i'm sorry the world we are now is our heaven is our hell it is the way you live your life on earth here is the way you are planning and laying your plan, your, 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 your foundation to heaven. If you help somebody on earth here, equivalently, you will receive help in the gate of heaven. If you look down on somebody here on earth, get ready to receive your own on the judgment day. Okay? So get it. If you live well here and die well here, Congratulations, that is your heaven. No? If you live well here and people, I mean, if you live bad here and people are busy talking bad against you, Morompra, get ready. This is your hell for you. Okay? If people are talking negative about you, help Nakubi. They don't sponsor anybody. They can't help anybody. If you ask them for sponsor, they will say, I mean, Sai Sabo. I mean, Sai Sabo. While they have the money, they cannot help. Your time will come. Just have it at the back of your mind. You will grow old. Your children, children will go out and ask for help. Nobody will give them. So a lot of people are suffering from some disease now. You people are like, it took it it disease. Go to Paris. Where, where did I get it from? It is the things you did to people before. If you can reflect, it is the things you did to people before. Now, pay back time. But you will never reflect. You will never remember. So learn how to help. Learn how to help. Okay? It is not, it is not expensive. It is not hard. You people have money. I know very well. Naga people, you people are very rich. I have seen it, but it's very hard for some of you to help. Yes. I'm telling you people the fact. Yeah. If you people want to get angry and get mad over this video, get mad. I'm telling you people the fact. You guys are rich, but greediness is killing most of us. Uh, I miss mean, Isa, but if you don't want to help, hello, brother, I'm sorry, I cannot help you, okay? Bah, kafir. But what is, uh, I will think about, think about what? Who is a fool? We all are grown up, kwa. If you help me today, if I don't help you tomorrow, some way or somehow, this help you have done to me will meet you in future. It may not be my generation that will help you. It may be somebody else that will help you. 
See, I'm telling you people the fact. It's out of testimony. There are a lot of... See, I should have died today. I'm telling you people the fact. A lot of my mates that came out to India today, most of them have died. But to God be the glory, it is because of the good things I have done and the good things that my parents have done to some people back then. Now I'm enjoying it. So try and learn how to help. Blessed is the hand that give it. Okay? That is what they said. Try and use this Akho. Sema, people say Akho. Use this brain. In India, people say Dimak. Use this Dimak God has given to you people and learn how to help. Uh, Max Naga, Aloto Naga, Sami Vlogs, uh, Nagamoto Vlogs. Most of them have done videos of helping people, people that are sick in the bed in the hospital. I'm very happy for that. God bless each and every one of you. But I, I came, I did a short video of somebody that is living in a forest. Life, Bishop Bia say, when they say life is at its worst stage, no electricity. The phone the woman is even using is touch light phone. I don't know where she's charging it from. The son is dying of leprosy. I cried that day. My eye was so red. I dropped my wife's bank account on the social media for people to help. Land of humanity. All I could get is 115 rupees from people to help. What a shame. I felt so disappointed. But what to do? I believe this video will touch most of Wait. you people. Oh. Daddy, come. Mommy, come. Mommy, come here. Okay, I'm coming. So I'm begging you people to please reflect on that video again and try to help one another. And as I'm, I'll be ending this video now, I have a lot of things to do. So God bless each and every one of us and stay blessed. I remain my humble self, African Amakshu, and God bless you all. Bye.